We're in the heart of Central Europe once more, and this time to Slovakia for another league lowdown. This is a nation brimming with ornate towns and cities, each one an architectural gem. This country is a sightseer's paradise. Famed for its castles, its mountains, and its network of caves. As well as its dairies, its modern art influence, and its love of folk music. But this is also a nation in love with the beautiful game. And we're here to investigate the challenges that await the budding football manager. So let's investigate the teams you could take charge of in the League Lowdown Guide to Slovakia. Welcome back to another League Lowdown and this time we've made it all the way to Slovakia and as usual we've enlisted the help of somebody that knows this country very well. FM Greeno is always the person I go to when I'm talking about football in this part of the world. He has his own fabulous YouTube channel where he's currently in the midst of a journeyman save and we will link to that channel down below and you should go and subscribe and watch along his own epic FM21 adventure. But Without further ado, let's check out the league structure in Slovakia. The top division in Slovakia is known as the Fortuna Liga and currently it is a 12-team affair, although that has varied down the years. So they play each other home and away to create a 22-game regular season. Then comes the league split, so the top six play each other again home and away, creating an extra 10 games to see who's going to be the champions and who gets those all-important European spots. And the bottom six also play each other home and away as well to see who's going to be automatically relegated out of this division and who's going to enter a playout with a team from the playable division below in Football Manager, which has 15 teams in it itself. Teams are playing each other home and away again. So that's a 28-game season, one automatic promotion place, one team qualifying for that playoff with a team from the division above and three teams being relegated out of it. So... That's the league structure in Slovakia. It's time to start our tour of the teams you could manage with the biggest club in the country. Since the formation of the Slovakian league structure, the most successful club has been Slovan Bratislava, who were also a powerhouse during the Czechoslovakian footballing era as well. They play at a stadium that holds 22,500 fans and they can boast an achievement that no other club from the former Czechoslovakia is able to boast. And that's that they've won... A European trophy in 1969, they beat Barcelona 3-2 to win the European Cup Winners' Cup. They also managed to lift the Czechoslovakian League title on eight separate occasions. And since the formation of the Slovakian League, they've won that ten times, including the first three league titles. And impressively, they've won the FA Cup 16 times as well. Compared to other clubs from this part of the world, their facilities are pretty good. And they've got a long history of producing youth players, having contributed seven of the players that won the 1976 Euro Championships for Czechoslovakia. They've got good training facilities, good youth facilities, adequate academy coaching and excellent youth recruitment. So if you like the idea of taking charge of a nation's most dominant club, but trying to restore them to European trophy winning form, well, Slovan Bratislava are definitely the club for you. But Slovan Bratislava, of course, have teams that are challenging them at the top of the table. And one team that has pushed them close this season is Donajska Strada. Now, this is a team from an interesting town close to the Hungarian border. In fact, 80% of the population are ethnically Hungarian. They even played the Hungarian national anthem before games. In fact, their 12,700 brand spanking new Moll Arena was built for them by the Hungarian prime minister at a cost. 22 million euros in terms of their history well they're not a club that has won many trophies so far they won the 1987 Slovakian Cup they needed penalties to secure that victory otherwise they've got a trophy cabinet waiting to be filled but if you like the idea of taking charge of a club that represents a community well this is definitely an option for you their manager is the former manager of Hungary their captain is a Hungarian international and if you like the idea of taking a team that considers itself part of the Hungarian community but plays in the Slovakian league, well, this is an interesting little proposition. But they're not the only team trying to provide a challenge 
to Slovan Bratislava. A challenger that's actually won the Slovakian title plenty of times themselves is Jelina. They never won the Czech top division or the Czech cup. But since the formation of Slovakian football, well, they have had quite the success. When they were competing in the Czechoslovakian league, they did reach the quarterfinals of the 1962 Cup Winners' Cup before eventually losing to Fiorentina. But they've been racking up the trophies since the formation of the Slovakian league structure. They may only have won the FA Cup once in 2012, but they've won the top division on seven different occasions. And they've also made the group stages of the Champions League way back in 2010-2011. But it shows that this is a club with potential. If you like the idea of taking charge of a club that really could hunt down Slovan Bratislava in your save, well, Jelina are definitely an interesting proposition. But as well as challenges to the top team, there's also some sleeping giants of Slovakian football. A team that has proved itself capable of competing at the top of Slovakian football in the past, but for the last couple of seasons has not been able to mount a title challenge, is Spartak Trnava. Now, during the late 60s and early 70s, this club experienced its heyday, winning the Czechoslovakian title five times. In fact, in 1969, they went as far as the semi-finals of the European Cup, being narrowly defeated 3-2 on aggregate by an Ajax side that contained Johan Cruyff. They may only have won the Slovak First Division once, but they've won the Cup six times, most recently in 2019. But over the last couple of seasons, they've been unable to form much of a challenge to Slovan Bratislava at the top of the table. If you like the idea of taking a club that was very nearly talked about as European Cup finalists and maybe putting more trophies in their cabinet, well, Trnava are one club that might interest you, but they're not the only team playing in the top flight that has had success in Slovakian football. Another club itching for a return to the top of Slovakian football is Trenčín, a well-supported club who, over the last 10 years, have competed regularly in European competition. But for the last two seasons, they finished in the bottom half and they're there again this season and relegation threatened. However, back in 2015 and 2016, they were winning the Slovakian league title and they've also won the cup on three different occasions as well. If you think you could be the manager that could take this club back to the summit of Slovakian football, well, they are well worth checking out. But maybe you want a sleeping giant that's not even in the top tier of Slovakian football. If we head down to the second tier, we will find Petra Schalke. Now, if they're not a name that's familiar with you, you might remember them as the club known as Art Media Bratislava before a name change. Now, in 2005-2006, this club were in the Champions League group stages. In fact, they were the first Slovakian side ever to win a point in the Champions League. And as recently as 2008, they were securing a league and cup double. And in fact, they've won the top division and the cup on two different occasions. But just two years after their greatest triumph, they were relegated down to the second tier, a level that they are now struggling at. If you think that you could take a team from the Slovakian second tier all the way to the top of the domestic game, and who knows, maybe even back into the Champions League group stage as well, this is yet another great challenge that Slovakian football throws up. But there's another club out there that may only have won the title once, but they could be a force again in Slovakian football. The club in question are Rouge Romberek, who are from the north of Slovakia. And for the first 100 years of their history, well, they put very few trophies in their cabinet. But in 2006, which was their centenary year, not only did they lift the Slovakian league title, but they actually managed to do the double. A year later, they were competing in the qualifying rounds of the Champions League, where they managed to get past Swedish club Jurgarden before eventually bowing out to CSKA Moscow. They're a club that have only got one title and they won the cup in the same season. And it was a while ago now, but maybe you are the manager that could take control of this club and turn them into a powerhouse of Slovakian football. So that completes the league load and guide to Slovakia, a nation that's had clubs competing at the top of European football, but with two playable divisions, there's plenty of smaller teams out there that you could lead to glory. We're going to see you very soon when we make another country the focus of our next league lowdown.